Well, the absolute mad last did it. Georgia Maloney and her right-wing bloc won the Italian election. She'll now almost certainly go on to become Prime Minister. Maloney's coalition trounced the leftists, receiving 43% of the vote compared to the opposition's 26%. And all the right people are wetting the bed. EU sycophants are calling the democratic vote a threat to democracy, while the EU, which has repeatedly forced people to vote again and again and again on referendums and treaties if they don't get the result they want, vowed to punish Italians for voting for the right-wing bloc just like they punished Hungarians for voting for Orban. We have tools. Again, the EU is an unelected authoritarian outrage. Being lectured by the EU about democracy is like being lectured by Lizzo about weight loss. They just don't have a leg to stand on. Maloney's biggest sin appears to have been the promise to govern the country in the interests of Italians, not EU globalists. Oh no, the absolute horror. In a victory speech in Rome, she said, quote, the big goal that we set ourselves was that Italians can again be proud to be Italians and to wave the tree colour flag. We are called to govern this nation. We will do it for everyone. We will do it for all Italians and we will do it with the aim of uniting the people of this country. Her pro-family rhetoric and plans to incentivize Italians having more babies, along with her proud defense of Italian identity, is perhaps what threatens them the most. Them being, according to Maloney herself, nihilistic globalist elites driven by international finance. Perché la famiglia è un nemico? Perché la famiglia fa così paura? C'è una risposta unica per tutte queste domande. Perché ci definisce? Perché è la nostra identità. Perché tutto quello che ci definisce in questo tempo è un nemico. Per chi vorrebbe che non avessimo più un'identità e che fossero che fossimo solamente schiavi, consumatori perfetti. E allora è sotto attacco l'identità nazionale, è sotto attacco l'identità religiosa, è sotto attacco l'identità di genere, è sotto attacco l'identità familiare. Non devo potermi definire italiana, cristiana, donna, madre, no. Io devo essere cittadino X, genere X, genitore 1, genitore 2, devo essere un numero. Perché quando sarò solamente un numero, quando non avrò più un'identità, quando non avrò più radici, beh allora sarò lo schiavo perfetto in balia della grande speculazione finanziaria. Il consumatore perfetto. There's also concern Maloney might try to restore border security. Matteo Salvini could return to the role of interior minister. When he previously held that position, he turned the boats back, massively reducing illegal immigration and halving the number of migrants who drowned in the Mediterranean. And get this, Maloney might want to question the sanity of prolonging a war 1,500 miles away that could lead to nuclear Armageddon. How dare she! All three victorious party leaders are also Eurosceptics, if not Italivers. They want Italy out of the EU. We are scary, but to whom, asked Maloney during a speech. We only scare those who fear losing power, certainly not the Italians. The United Kingdom is the only significant country in this part of the world without a far-right movement in its parliament. Hardly far-right when they've just been given an electoral mandate by a plurality of voters, is it? Doesn't sound very fringe to me. The truth is that the Overton window across Europe is shifting to the right. And the left has no one to blame but themselves. So cry more, because France and Austria are next.